to find out the total we will keep here function so always function start with equal sign so i'll keep equal then function sum bracket then range of the cells from c2 to g2 bracket close and simply you will press enter then you will see that this is the total of uh, sanya now percentage so keep is equal to then total means h2 multiply 100 and divided by total marks so we are having here 1 2 3 4 5 subjects means 500 the so formula will be is equal to s2 multiply 100 divided by 500 then enter to find out the remark keep is equal to then go to function box and select if function then function arguments box will be appear so you will keep here i2 should be more than or equal to 70 if the value in the i2 will be more than equal to 70 then it will show the excellent otherwise it will show good then keep ok then you can see Sanya is getting excellent because she is getting more than 70 percent marks now again suppose you want to find out the total of other students simply you can keep a cursor at the corner of the cell then you can see the cursor is changing when the cursor has been changed then you can draw drag and drop maybe total will be appeared automatically again to find out the percentage of other students keep the cursor at the corner and drag and drop simply to find out the remark of the other students keep your cursor at the corner drag and drop now you can see our first practical is over in this practical you have learned how to find out the total how to find out the percentage and how to find out the remark thank you we have to arrange the data on the basis of their percentage highest to lowest so as you can see here this is not in a proper way highest to lowest then what to do select the data and please take care here don't select the headings select only the data without heading then go to data menu select the short and the column you will select here percentage percentage will select here because we are arranging the data according to the percentage values should be here and uh, order you will select the largest to smallest then click on ok now you can see the data is arranged according to the percentage highest is at the top and lowest is at the bottom how to display the data of only those students who have scored more than 70 percent marks or equal to 70 percent marks for this you have to select the data then go to filter option then you can see arrows are there in front of the headings so go to percentage then select number filter and uh, greater than or equal to select greater than equal to keep here 70 click on ok now you can see only the names of the student those who are getting more than 70 percent marks here others are invisible so we will keep the restrictions in this sheet so that user will not be able to enter less than zero mark or more than 100 mark for that we will use data validation option select the data where you want to keep the restrictions especially for the marks select the marks area then go to data and the option is here data validation in this box you can see three types of options are there settings input message and alert in the setting area you will select the whole number then you will select uh, between then minimum marks you will keep here zero and maximum marks you will keep here 
100. The next option is input message. So input message we will keep here. Please enter marks. Then alert message you will select any one of these. Warning I will select here. And I will write here. Please enter marks between 0 and 100 okay now you can see if I keep my cursor here it will show a message please enter marks suppose I enter here 102 mark enter you can see one error message will be displayed here please enter marks between 0 and 100 it means now we, can, we cannot type the marks we cannot enter the marks more than 100 or less than 0 suppose in another cell suppose I type minus 4 this is less than 0 if I press enter again it will show the message now you will learn about track changes when you turn on this feature every cell you added will be highlighted with the unique border and indicator selecting a mark cell will show the details of the change this allows you and other reviewers to see what been changed before accepting the revisions permanently means suppose you make any change in any cell this will be displayed to the user so to enable this feature go to review menu select track changes select highlight changes then tick track changes while editing this also shares your workbook then when all who everyone highlight changes on screen this should be ticked then click on ok now you will get this message this action will now save the workbook do you want to be continue it is asking you to save the changes yes ok now track changes on if I change these marks 75 to 89 it will show a message here in this computer on this date change cell d4 from 75 to 89 earlier it was 75 now I have changed into 89 this message will be saved and this cell will be enclosed with a blue border it means if we enable this feature in our worksheet it will help you to find out the changes whatever you have made select the data name and subject with marks go to insert menu then you can see so many charts options are available here column chart line chart pie chart bar area scattered and others chart here I'm using column I will select 3d column when I click over it you can see chart is in front of you the chart is showing here the marks of these students in different different subject suppose in English this blue color is showing the marks of Sanya this red color is showing the marks of Anurag in English and this green color is showing the marks of Monica in English this purple color is showing the marks of Kunal in English and this color is showing the marks of Rahul in English shown same here you can see the Hindi marks, math marks, science marks, social science 